In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics on how to create a casting and actor style. So to get started, let's just go to Actor, and then we can just drag and drop a character into our scene. We can make a few adjustments to fine tune our character style. For instance, we can go to Hair, and change his hair from this hat and long dreads to maybe say like an afro. And we can just rotate around and see how that looks on him. Or we can just press remove and he can have no hair at all. Then we can go to upper body and choose a template for his upper body. Let's say for instance we want to give him a suit so we can change the upper body for suit and go to lower body, change the lower body for suit, then go to the shoes and give him Trey's shoes and now he's wearing a suit. And just for fun, or if you wish to have some gloves for your characters, we can give him, say, Mickey Mouse hands. And now he has hands of a cartoon character. But there are other types of glove types, so just play around until you find the kind of gloves you wish to have. But for me, I'm just going to remove the gloves altogether. Next, we can add in accessories. We can add in all types of content, such as bags, gloves, glasses, wings. For me, I'm just going to add in some cool sunglasses. And now our character's wearing some cool shades. Double click back on our character, and let's go to skin. Right now you see the skin color that we have for our character, but we can always change the skin tone by just double clicking on any of the skin types we have. Then we can use the brightness under the modify panel to adjust the color so he can have a tan as if he just came from Miami or you can change his skin to be a little paler. Now I'm going to delete this character and add in another character again so we can take a closer look at his face. So once we have the character back in the scene we can just click on the camera view of face to get a closer look. Now if we wish to fine tune his facial features we can just go to head and then we can adjust things such as his face by using a template of one of our characters that we've created or custom characters or we can adjust the eyes. I want to make this character look like a vampire so I'm going to go down and find some template for the eyes that look pretty scary like a vampire would have. Maybe we can use uh, these cat eyes. So just double click and add the eyes in. Later on the modify panel we can adjust say the pupils or the whites of the eyes. For instance I want his eyes to be a little bit brighter so I'll adjust the colors for the whites of the eye and notice I have mirror selected so both the left and the right eye will both be affected. And for the pupils, I want them a little darker to make them a little bit more scary. So I'll change the brightness. Also enhance the contrast. We can adjust the, the hue a little to make his eyes red. We can also adjust how wide or narrow his eyes will be. I want him to have his eyes a little closer, so I'll just change to negative 12. We can also adjust his eyelashes. If I rotate this direction, you can see he has eyelashes here. We can adjust the length to make them long and beautiful or shorten them down. And since he's a scary vampire, I'll just keep them short, short eyelashes. The next feature we should take a look at is the mouth. Notice right now he has regular human teeth, but we want him to be a vampire. So under the templates for teeth, let's just scroll down and find some interesting vampire teeth. Here, let's use these. And now you can see he has vampire teeth. And that's how we can create a vampire face with eyes and teeth. Now let's click on faces and I want to show you how we can create variations in our face. So I'm going to just pan the camera a little to the right so we can see his face a little clearer. And notice here under the modify panel for the face we can change features of his eyebrows, eyes, nose, ears, mouth, chin, cheeks and cheekbones. For instance if we choose brow we can raise and lower his eyebrows. See how they come up and down? We can also furrow his eyes to make him look more angry. And we can create an arch as well for his face. And you can do all of those sort of things with all of these features for the face. You can also morph the entire head. Say for instance if we want this to have a more of a chisel face, we click on head and click on chisel. And now he has a more a uh, sharp contrasting face with a strong chin bone to make it a little stronger or decrease to make his face a little bit more pleasant. Right about there will be fine. You can also choose other different template types to create all kinds of different faces such as beast, devil, alien, anime. I recommend just playing around with these controls just to find the one that suits you best. 
Okay, I've gotten rid of our vampire, and I'm now looking here at Trey. I want to show you one way that you can use one character and create several different types of variations of that one character to have many different characters. For instance, we go to Facial Features, which is under the Modify tab, and we can go to Randomize. Just by clicking this button, you'll notice that his face will randomly change to create a new character. And we can increase the variation to Randomize. Now I'm going to show you one last feature on how we can customize our characters for our projects. One way is to actually change the entire body. To do so, just go back to Actor, Avatar, and have your character selected. Then you can use different types of body styles. For instance, right now he's average, but if we want to make Trey a little stronger, we just press strong. Or we want Trey to be a little overweight, we just press plump. Or if we want him to be tall and thin, just press slim. Or if we want him to be a cartoon, we can just make him into a little hobbit, or we can press miniature and make him into a, a dwarf. Let's just make him back to his average body size, and then I want to show you how we can adjust his proportions. Say for instance if we want to adjust his proportions and make him more like Popeye the Sailor Man. We can just click on one of his forearms, click mirror, and make sure that you locked XYZ, and then increase the size. And now he's Popeye the Sailor Man. Or you can just make your character a little longer by actually fine tuning. So for instance, we can click on his legs, click mirror, and we can increase the length by making him a little taller. And so you can create Trey into a basketball player. So that is the basics for casting an actor style so that you can create and customize any character you need for your projects.